Giselle's mom is here. She's back for the week. She actually got here yesterday, but we all immediately fell asleep as soon as <laughs> as soon as I got back from work. Everybody was asleep. I fell asleep immediately, and then I woke up for a couple hours. I didn't fall asleep. I stayed up till midnight and read a whole book. Oh yeah, she read a whole book yesterday. Anyway, we're about to eat food. There's this delicious looking bread right here. We got what? it from a local farmer market. It's a five wheat bread, five grain bread. Yeah. It looks and pretty awesome. It's beautiful. I'm so excited. We also got a bunch of cheese. We got like this nice um, smoked gouda from a local farmer as well, along with this. It's they she called it a farmer's, farmer's cheese. cheese, and it's like it's soft. ridiculously soft. Like literally, I could squish it and it'd go. <laughs> yeah, it's like and brie, but it doesn't we, taste the same. We have a couple others that we had before as well. We have a brie, and then we have a what is this? I don't know what we got, but it looked really good. <laughs> Amelo Bella Vitan. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, we have another cheese, and then we also had one that we already ate all of it of. And we have some more olives right there, too. Yeah. We're going to eat olives and cheese and bread, and this will be our dinner. Except for I can't eat bread or cheese because I weighed myself this morning and I was shocked. So I have to eat. I'm going to be eating this. This is my dinner for the night. I'm eating hummus and celery, which is fine, because I actually really like the way this tastes. It's like garlic hummus. That's what I had for dinner, dinner last night, too. But uh, I'm being very, very strict with myself from now on about eating. I can no longer eat bread, ever. And then we're going to watch something, right? We're going to watch. We're going to watch, Mom. Well, I was going to. It's our favorite TV show. No, it, no. It's <laughs> not. It's just that Autumn shared it with me. So I binge watched The Great British Baking Show. And so now I'm making those guys do it because they don't have enough addictions. <laughs> <We've> <laughs> enough Netflix addictions. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen it before. Oh, so. look, this comes like double wrapped, and then this is the cheese inside. It's like ridiculously soft and creamy. And Stop yeah. putting your fingers on. Okay, I'll just have to eat that piece. <laughs> it tastes very, it tastes like goat cheese, but it's like way creamy. But it doesn't taste like goat cheese because I, yeah, I don't like goat cheese. It tastes just like goat cheese. Mm mm. Don't cheese taste yucky. <laughs> Try it. Goat cheese tastes yucky. It's thing. like a more mild goat cheese. It's a mild goat cheese. Is what it tastes like. That's not what it actually is. <laughs> it's actually cow it cheese. Tastes way better than goat cheese. Goat cheese is the best cheese ever, Mom. No. <laughs> and perf they're like the perfectly sized size slices, like they're all even and stuff. A machine did it. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible at cutting bread. I don't know why, but it's it's moist in there. I mean, it's I like it. Okay, on the Great Booking British Baking Show, they would say, "Oh, it's raw. It's underbaked." But this, the doughy part, is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the feast. This is what is that? Balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Oh, it looks weird, but okay. As you dip the bread in that, oh, okay. Hmm. I don't. Know. I might try a piece of bread, even though I, I can't have too much. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Good. And then there's it's PBS. Very We're watching gooey. the British baking show. It's very gooey. Yeah. So the bread is gooey. Hey, Paul Hollywood and Mary Berry would it's say like, it was raw. It's very moist. I like it. But you guys got it from a farmer's market, you said. Yeah. Interesting. I've never been to a farmer's market around here before. Yeah. Me neither. This is my first time. Oh. Yeah. I actually thought we've thought about going to one before, I feel like. Every Thursday noon to six all summer long in front hmm. of a church. Well, we might have to go back there. So we just went to the Boston Temple, and now we're at the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, which is in Concord, Massachusetts. Uh, and yeah, we just got here. We're gonna go up to Authors Ridge because there's a bunch of authors buried here, which is really cool. The cemetery is huge, like you can see it. 
reaching out far into the distance. And this this is Authors Ridge up here. Oh, there's a sign that says to Authors Ridge, oh. Graves of Thoreau, Hawthorne, Alcott. Giselle found mushrooms. She's really excited about She's it. She's gonna pull a chase. Chase ate them when he was a kid. Those kinds of mushrooms? You know, he, he came in running in from the backyard. He was five years old and he says, Mom, you know those mushrooms you buy at the store? I don't like them at all, but the ones in the backyard taste really good. <laughs> he had to go to the hospital and they, made it, they had him eat like charcoal. I was really calm. I said, okay, so I'm just gonna call dad. Because I was not gonna take him to the hospital. <laughs> I called poison control and they're like, Oh, he's fine. Just take him to the hospital. <laughs> Who's that? Is the author of Five Little Peppers. One of her favorite books I know. of all time. We have lots of copies of that book. Yes. <laughs> Always a like lover and a worker for children. Isn't that so cool? Giselle's mom made ribs. <laughs> it's it's like 10.30 in the morning, which is really funny to me. I usually don't eat non-breakfast food for not breakfast, but it's lunchtime enough. Giselle came in and woke me up and was like, there's ribs. <laughs> Come eat them. It's lunchtime. <laughs> it's almost 11. Yeah. Yeah, I stayed up late last night, so I woke up late. This is how you break up your walnuts if you're really lazy. Smaller. I may throw them in the food processor too to get them smaller. If mom says these aren't small enough, but It seems as if this whole weekend has just been food and nothing but food. It kind of has, but also we haven't been eating that much. It's just we haven't been pulling the camera out for much of anything else besides food. But we are making what are we making right now though? Baklava. Making baklava. So I guess this is about two cups, so I'm just going to put it all in. I just thought I would double check. And then half a cup of sugar. Yes, that's a lot of sugar. Wow. <laughs> and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, which I was too lazy to find half a teaspoon, so I'm just putting in half a teaspoon. Hmm. <laughs> the teaspoon measure is close enough. I like to mix it a little. These walnuts might be a little big, but oh well. We'll just have extra crunchy baklava. And now we need to melt some butter. And now we're melting a lot of butter. This is so unhealthy. So you always keep the, you, know, you keep the other ones always covered with a wet cloth because phyllo dough um, dries out really fast. Phyllo dough? Phyllo. That's what this is? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so we're gonna just, whoa. We'll just tuck it down in. <laughs> and she's gonna just get her butter. And brushing butter on. Uh -huh. So now, so we're gonna keep this. Oh and just, geez, that's not brushing very well, is it? And be careful, cause it'll, it'll break easily. And the, the butter in between the layers is what, there'll be plenty, there will be, there should be. You really want to get it. It's what makes it flaky, the butter between the layers. That's why you have to do it every single layer. And we're just going to tuck it. Usually they cut them all the sides, but we'll just tuck it down. I like baklava, but I've never seen anyone make it before. Well, on those cooking shows, they make them make their own. They, they make them make their own phyllo dough and roll oh, it out. Really it's so thin. thin. That must be hard. Yeah. So speaking of that, we're almost at the end of the Great British Baking Show. We've watched almost the entire first season that's on Netflix uh, while Giselle's mom has been here. We're on episode 9. We have two episodes left, 9 and 10. And we have no idea who's going to win, but it's a fun show to watch. So here we go. Now we now this is the third layer. So then just now we're going to sprinkle some of this just all over. And now we'll do, and we're gonna do some more. Whoops, it's okay. Oh, that felt right. You won't even be able to tell, actually. You won't even be able to as tell. Long as, you, as long as you cover the whole thing, I guess. As long as you can, yeah. And actually, I'm just gonna keep going as fast as I can on here. How, how many layers is this gonna be exactly? We do all of this. All of, the, all of it. Which is like all, all of, this of that and, and all that. Of that. A pound of phyllo. Because, yeah, baklava is, like, pretty, like, thick, considering how thin this dough is. Yeah. This is, these are kind of... And then you, like, cut it up into squares or something, I think. Yeah. And really, this is, um... Uh, what was I going to say? But the nuts are pretty thick, but they're fine. The first time I ever did it, I had no idea. I'd never, ever tasted baklava or anything, but the Greeks told me how to do it, so I went and did it, and... I loved it, and I fed it to my family all through the years. And here is the finished, uh, but like tons of layers, very buttery, cinnamony, walnuty. It's gonna be finished products. That's ridiculously going. well. It's not the finished product. Yeah, you know, it's going in the oven <laughs> for a half hour, but still. Yes. And now we're making a syrup kind of thing to go over top of it or something, right? Yeah. Take a lot of sugar. Your quarter cup sugar and three quarter cup honey. Just a lot of honey too. Yeah. Oh. And that bottle doesn't really squeeze very fast. That's why you can only eat a tiny bit of it at a time. Look at all that honey. That is a lot. I won't go eat it. And then it says a tablespoon of lemon juice. Yeah, the lovely from concentrate version. Not always, just for this particular time. We don't have actual lemons. That's fine. I use this in Christopher's birthday cake, so. The aim is to boil down the water a tiny bit, like get some of the steam to come out and also to dissolve all the sugar. So it's gonna just heat up for a bit until it's syrupy. Yeah. Okay, we're supposed to pour this all over the whole thing. This is really liquidy. A lot. Yeah. Oh should we? Gosh. We shouldn't use all of it, should we? Okay. Yeah, we don't need to. Should we put it back in the oven? <laughs> no. If, I guess if it's not, I would put it like over there and just let it cool. It's not gonna cool on here. So it came out of the oven and they poured the stuff over top of it, and. Uh, we let it sit cool for a little bit. We've all actually already had a piece. Giselle's eating a second piece, and so is she. And I'm about to have another piece as well, because honestly, the whole thing just looks really amazing. Taste really amazing. Yeah, it does taste really, really, really good. And they're on the Great British Baking Show. They're making baklava right now, which is also <laughs> fun. So my sister and her husband, Autumn, who got married. Her husband's name is not Autumn. Autumn and Matt. <laughs> My, My sister, sister Autumn, 
and her husband, she's the one that got married a couple weeks after we did. Uh, they went to like France and they went all over Europe pretty much, France, Greece, and where else did they go? Just the two places. Anyway, they went to Europe last month and they sent us a package. We've had it for three weeks, but Chris wouldn't let me open it because he wanted me to open it on the vlog and because the we're new, getting to film it. We needed the new camera first. Yes, so we're going to open it and see what it is. It's from Greece. Whoa, what is it? <gasps> what is that? It's a honey. Oh, honey dipper. that's so cool. That's what it's actually called, a honey. Wait, hold it up. And it's made out of olive wood. Is it? Nice. That's so cool. We have to get a honey pot now. We need to get one of the, like the little honey jars so we can put it in it. It's so cute though. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you, Autumn. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It's currently past 1 a.m. and Giselle's mom is heading out after being here for several days. And we're gonna miss her. It's really nice having you here. Thanks nice. for having me. Bye bye. <laughs>